Have you recently purchased a new or used vehicle? Or perhaps you're researching for a new or used vehicle, but you're wondering how to set up and use all the technology that we find in a driver's information system and the infotainment screen. If so, you're at the right place. Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do just that. But before I do, take a moment to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get started. Hi folks, this is Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're talking about the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica, and this is the pinnacle trim level, but we're talking about the rear entertainment system and how it works. So, we're going to start with the controls in the front, and then we'll move to the back and show you the actual uh, TV screens and how to control them from there. So, on your infotainment screen, what you want to do is you want to go to Vehicle. No. So, what you want to do is you want to go to Apps. I happen to be on my favorites. I've already saved this, and we showed you how to do that in another video. I'm going to click the Uconnect Theater. Now, uh, from here, I've got both my screens. I have a Blu-ray, it does have a Blu-ray disc player uh, down here. Uh, so that means it will play non-Blu-ray DVDs and Blu-ray DVDs. Okay? Now, um, as far as the controls go, I can hit power to all. See right now they went off. Hit power all and they come on. I can mute all. So if you're, if the kids are watching a movie and you want to talk to them, just hit that mute all. It it mutes their headphones, and uh, then you can talk with them. Okay, I can lock all, and if I lock all, what that does is it prevents the rear passengers from having any control whatsoever over the TVs. Uh, the touchscreen won't work, and the uh, handheld remote will not work. Okay. Um, now down here. I have got the same kind of buttons for each individual screen. So I can just turn off the left screen, I can mute the left screen, I can lock the controls, and I can do the same for the right screen. This is overall for both screens. Okay. Now other than that, what you have is you have an input select. So for the first TV, on the left behind the driver, if I click on here, I have my choices. I can go to the disc. Okay. I can uh, go to the HDMI plug-in, which we'll show you in the back. I can go, it, it, uh, it by default clicks off. I can go to a USB. Now, interestingly enough, the USB plug-in for media for the TV screens is right here by the DVD player. Okay, it's not the USB that you'll see in the screens. That is a charge only. Right? Um, you can stream. Now, uh, I'll tell you up front, the owner's manual says it right, right, in, right there. It says iPhones are not compatible, and I did try a couple little tricks to see if I could get it to work, and nope, uh, you can't. Not with the cable, not with streaming. Um, it just doesn't work at this point. So, uh, but if you have an Android device and you can use Miracast, and you can just stream the content of your phone right to the TV screen. Okay. Or you can hook up, a, say, a gaming system and use HDMI. Okay, so now I'm kind of at the bottom of my list for um, what I can stream to it or connect to it. But each each of the TV screens has apps built in. So if I go to apps right here, um, I get a whole list. The, and, and these are mostly games that kids can play, and they can play them against each other. So I got like tic-tac-toe, Sudoku, backseat bingo, checkers. Are we there yet? Uh, solitaire, license plate game, hanging fruit, uh, matching game, chess, and math flashcards. Okay, now let me explain this. Are we there yet? So if I if I click on that, it it, it will set up the screens um, to to play that. Now I know it still shows the image of the DVD, but uh, it will actually uh, on the back screens it will have. Um, the where are we yet, or are we there yet? And and uh, what that basically does is if you've got a navigation route plotted in, uh, the kids can be watching a movie, can be playing a game, whatever, but on the bottom of the screen, every so many minutes and you get to set that, it'll notify them how much closer they are to your destination. So maybe you won't have to answer 50 times in a minute, 
are we there yet? Okay, so if I want to see either screen, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go here for a minute. I'm gonna select the USB that I have plugged in. Um, here I've got music, movies, and folders. So I'm gonna go to movies for a minute. I'm gonna click on that one there, and it's now gonna be playing. And here it is. Okay, now it just kind of shows me a still picture of it, but um, that that's playing on that left screen. Now, if I want to view it, if I actually want to see it, I can press on the view button, and here I go. Hmm, that guy looks familiar. All right, and then you got, of course, fast forward, you got uh, go uh, rewind, and then you've got the pause button. All right, so to get back to both screens, you can just click here. You can also change the source right there. So I'm gonna go back here. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Okay, I'm also gonna switch this one over to the USB. And I'm gonna go to movies. Okay, so now both screens would be set to the USB here. Okay, and you get, of course, pause, uh, stop, fast forward, rewind. And then if you want to listen in. So if you want the audio here, Okay, um, I'm gonna go here because I don't want this to be the disc. I actually want that to be USB. I want it to be movies and I want it to be this one. Okay, now if I click listen in and I click view. Information screen and the infotainment system. If so, you're at the right place. Hi folks. I'm so while the car is in park, you can actually watch the movie right up here. As soon as you put into drive, they'll start driving, it disappears. You want to go back to the screen you were on, just click that button and you're back to this screen. Want to see both screens? There you go. All right, so we are, I'm going to jump into the, to the back seat and actually show you the TVs, but that is how you control it from the driver's information center. Okay, so here we are in the back of the uh, Pacifica uh, with uh, one of the screens up and running. And so in general, the screen, if you close it, it's gonna turn off. Uh, and then when you turn it back up again, it, it comes back on again. You do have, and I'll show you in a little bit, you do have a remote and with the remote you can do a power on or off. So uh, these are called cards and these are basically your sources. Now we took the DVD out, but um, if the DVD was in, that would be here. These are all the apps that you can, uh, games that you can play. Uh, over here you've got, of course, HDMI 1. Now HDMI 1, and they'll show you a picture of it, is over uh, behind the driver's seat. HDMI 2 is this port right here. This USB on both seats is a charge only. Uh, okay, uh, so HDMI 1 is whatever source is plugged into that seat, and then uh, HDMI 2 is whatever is plugged into this seat. Okay, over here is your USB that's again connected in the front, right? And the last source, of course, is a streaming one. Now, you can use an Android phone as long as you have Miracast, which is, you know, a free download. Um, and, but however, uh, Chrysler specifically states that iPhones will not work. And I have tried using the powered HDMI adapters connected to the cable. Nothing, it truly does not work. Uh, so, but it works well with, uh, with an Android phone if you have it. So let's, uh, th th that's the cards and that's how you select what the screen's gonna show. Let's talk about the buttons down here. So this is the home screen that you see right now, okay? So this is the climate control. So here you can set the fan speed, it's all touch, okay? You can uh, change the fan speed here if you want. And then of course your temperature, you can slide up or down and then you can change the mode, okay? This icon will not light up, the headphone icon, until you plug uh, a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, from a headphone into the port on the back of the seat. When you do that, this becomes your volume adjustment. Of course, you got a clock here. Uh, over here, you have uh, settings, and then of course, you have a power button. So I'm gonna go back uh, right here to the home screen. I'm gonna go to settings. And so right here, you've got uh, brightness, okay? And you can, you can change that right here. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's adjusting the brightness. Port lighting, that's this lighting all around. All these ports in the back of the seat can be on or off. 
Uh, you can change the background of the the what we're seeing here to three different backgrounds or none. So if I uh, if I go use my back arrow here, now I've got a different background. Movie display can be set to auto, widescreen, or full screen just be by clicking. You can choose to show this clock or not show that clock. Okay, I'm I'm gonna leave that on. Um, you can reset defaults. You can reorder the source cards. Remember we saw at the beginning here, um, these ones, you can reorder them. So if you happen to use HDMI 2 the most often, if you go here, you can take HDMI 2 and simply drag it to the beginning and it puts it right after view screen 1. Okay, view screen 1 allows you to see whatever is on screen 1. So. If they have a, a particular device, a game system they've hooked in there, and you want to play along, you can hit View Screen 1. And the other TV has a View Screen 2 button. All right, let's go back here. Uh, use the back arrow. Okay, um, and then let's go down here. They got a little bit more information. You can look at system information if you need to. All right, use the back arrow. Now that's general. I also have a button for uh, settings for uh, streaming. Uh, you want to stream wirelessly, the on or off. You want to manage the devices that are connected and take a look at the local network name. Now what Chrysler says is um, you need to have the car's Wi-Fi system set up and you need to be able to hook uh, um, your phone to that so it's all on the same system because that's what the TVs will be running off of. And then you can stream. They just have to be, it's like in your house, you can't stream from your phone to your TV unless you're both on the same Wi-Fi network, and it's the same in here. And then you have a few settings for your remote. The remote sensitivity, you can change that. It has a trackpad on there for you to control with your uh, mouse. Uh, I find that five is kind of a nice setting. Um, if for some reason your remote doesn't work, you can go to pair remote, okay? It's looking for, um, to, to pair it now it's already paired so it's not going to find it um, but uh, if you if you want you can go to manage remote controls and unpair then go back here to pair remote and then it will work and it will work fairly quickly okay so that's what I had to do besides because the batteries went bad and when I put the new batteries in it wouldn't connect so I had to reset it all right of course power on or off Okay, uh, you do have a magnifying glass here, and that just helps you to search for things. So if I went to say USB, it might not have any suggestions. Uh, if I went to, ah, there it is. It's, it's looking on my USB, and here it found some sounds. So if I wanted to listen to above and beyond, okay, um, it would come through my headphones. Now, you notice that this button now lit up, so if I press that, now I go to kind of a whole screen with them. I play and pause and everything right there. And I can, of course, click that and go back to this screen. So that's what that button does. Now, the headphones. Okay, these, these uh, operate on infrared. These are um, the, the dots here that are, uh, that are uh, connecting to it. You got a power on the top. You got a volume on the side and then a channel selector on the bottom. So whether you're watching screen two or screen one, you'd want to set those. Okay, and then they twist really nicely and they fit back in. So right now, the sound would be playing through this if I hooked the headphones up, um, or if I turned them on. From the front is the only place where you can click listen in and it comes over the car speakers. Uh, passengers back here can't change that, okay? I'll put those back in there for now. All right, I'm gonna hit the back button here. So that was the, the search, okay? And that's all the buttons on the bottom. So let's go back here and let's say that you want to watch something from your USB. So I'm gonna go to home and I'm gonna select my USB, which is right here. I'm gonna select movies. I'm gonna select the, this one right here. And there you go. So um, I had this as a 1080p video and it wouldn't read it. 
so I had to bring the quality down. Um, it, when you watch the like the Blu-ray DVD, the screens have really good resolution. So that was just the quality of my particular video. All right, if I wanted to listen to music, I can go right there. And again, I can look by artists, songs, album, genres, playlists. So if I have those on my USB, it will look at them. Okay? Uh, and I can then click that arrow again, and I can search right here just alphabetically. Okay? Uh, if I want to look at folders here, if I create folders, I can uh, search those folders right on here. Okay, so that is that. Now, um, if I had a gaming device hooked up, I could just connect through uh, either HDMI port. Again, driver's seat is one and the passenger seat is two. And if I want to see what's playing on screen one, I just click there. Okay, the other thing the system comes is with some games. So if I click here, um, this is the Are We There Yet? So you just tap on it and you can change how often it notifies you. So you can have every 15 to 45 to, wow. <laughs> okay, up to 180 minutes uh, apart, the notifications. So that way, hopefully your, your kids will, uh, it'll show up on the screen at the bottom here, no matter what app they're in, they're watching a movie, a USB, whatever, it'll pop up there. And it'll show how long it'll go. All right, and time remaining. Yeah, let's see. Let's take a look here at chess for a minute. Um, the game, some of the games are set up to be played individually. Some are set up to be played uh, on, with a partner on the other screen. Uh, so basically, I want to hit two-player start right here. And when I do that, when the other person opens up their TV screen, goes to the apps, goes to chess, it'll, it'll ask what they want to accept and play. And then you can take turns playing. You also get a shortcut of all the games that are on here. Okay. Now the other thing I want to show you uh, is the remote. So the remote uh, basically has a trackpad at the top, so you can see the mouse moving around the screen. Okay. And then where it says screen, if I click that, I can switch between screen one and screen two. So just make sure it's on the right screen. Uh, you have a power button that shuts it off completely. Press it again, and the power comes on. You have cursor arrows that you can use to go through the different things. You've got an OK button, just like your TV remote, to select something. And then you've got a play, pause, rewind, and a fast forward button. And then you have a home button right here, okay, which brings us to this screen. And then you have a mute button. That's it for the infotainment screen system in the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.